So day one on the, the Holy Gully build and the first thing we're doing is tackling the really big hole. So raining today, Wayne's up there, one of our regulars, Roy is also getting rock and then we have a couple from Jaguar Land Rover doing uh, commercial uh, days, um, uh, days off, they get, uh, get paid from work to come and volunteer. Hi, I'm Kev, trying to live off grid in my 1995 Mercedes motorhome. Six solar panels, over two kilowatts, charging this awesome self-built 12 kilowatt hour lithium pack. I'm building mountain bike trails, I'm running mountain bike events, Freya's along for the ride, I'm solar powering my life while I'm off grid and working hard. You're off work with a bad bike? So that's that's Wayne there, look, he's been helping today, throwing these big rocks, mainly into the stream, but you know. But we're getting there, filling in this big hole, uh, and uh, yeah, we've got, we got some more rock. But we had a good team today, Roy, one of the regulars, and then our two Jaguar Land Rover people, uh, David and Sean, helping out today, so five of us. And that's been a good first day on the repair of Hully Gully. So here we are, let's have a look at day two progress. I didn't take the phone out the building yesterday, but I've come down today to do a little video, which makes Freya very happy. We've had a walk, haven't we, Freya? So this was the big hole that we filled with rock and now we've coated with gravel. Still needs whackering in. Uh, to to get sorted and then we've started on the hole that was the running to this and uh, so that looked like this before we put gravel on it with pitched rock as a good surface so we won't get the erosion and breaking bumps and we've shaped it to run the water off so it won't pool hopefully uh, back into the stream so that's where we are that's what we'll be continuing to cover next week and uh, then we'll slowly move up and uh, you know I mean we'll do little bits like filling in this puddle but those those two bits were the major bits holy gully build Day three. So what have we got today for you Holly Gully fans? So that bit that we'd uh, rocked the other day has now been graveled, still not been whackered uh, with better gravel than we've done over there. We've also progressed round to this puddle and uh, rocked this and shaped it hopefully to drain off there. And also, This hole, rocked and filled, this one I'm particularly happy about because my favourite line on Hully Gully is this high line here and then uh, jump, jump off this lip and land way down there and then obviously go as high up as you can on the other side. So there we are. Well then off grid fans, I didn't do a video the other day mainly because it was wet uh, and we had a decent team of volunteers here but I'll show you what we did so here there was some horrendous breaking bumps and uh, obviously under all of that is our usual pitched rock armour that goes into that bend that I showed you on the last video I think and uh, we started reinstituting this berm and uh, that's needed a pipe my dog Freya she's obsessed with pipes come move the echoes the echoes in the pipes drive her mad she thinks there's something living in there anyway this drop we've just temporarily filled it in to get our carrier down I've started pulling off the uh, grass here you can sort of see where the 
trail was up to there and uh, yeah it just just become a flat trail rather than a berm and uh, I'm currently doing the same here I mean look you can sort of see that this is a berm but no one was riding on it so it's all overgrown so I'll uh, take that overgrowth off and uh, I'll stop the video and start it a bit further up so here's the other bit that actually did this a few days ago because I needed to be able to get the carrier down through here so this little bit was was done again it's all pitched and again there's a berm there that no one used so it's all over all grassed over so I'll be taking that grass off got some uh, rock here to go here and then I can backfill to avoid that pipe and also make sure that the water that comes down drains off there rather than continuing all the way down the track so that's the uh, that's the plans and there is the little off-grid cabin on wheels good afternoon holly gully fans it looks brighter on this video than it does in real life because it's the end of the day but this is exciting look what we've done there's freya she's not done much but we have bermed this and got this pipe buried and look good stack of rock off the back and then this bit if you remember this was a little drop and it is still a little drop at this side and i've increased it where there was the cheat line around the outside and uh, we're basically making this into a bit of a hip so after you come railing that berm down here rail here jump off this hip into that berm oh it's going to be so good and for help today it's been the uh, the day of the race organizers this is jack from crank it so if you do uh cross country yeah, then cross you country and gravel type events, yeah. cross country and gravel then you uh, might well have heard of the crank it series very well thought of series so jack's been here helping me today so all good and I've got more help tomorrow and we're here all week. Day 472 of the Gisborne Forest Hully Gully build. Not really, I don't know what day it is. It's uh, week two, three, week three. And we've done this bit of a guide to get you onto this berm so that we can drain water out there. And then this berm leads into that berm, leads into the next berm. It's all God, all God. Well, taking a break from Hully Gully main bit, and I think you can probably guess today's plan. One pipe, one often very full puddle, a barrel full of tools and rocks, and let's get this sorted. This is the big puddle just before this stream crossing and look Freya's come to say hello well then Hully Gully fans what have we got for you to what hello hey Hully Gully fans what have we got for you today we have got a comedy no we've got a nice whackering berm there and then this berm almost finished had them scraping away there this is what they look like before we've increased the height of this first berm to make it more spectacular well mainly simon he's my other helper today he's been uh, he's been helping but uh, yeah plenty of rock get it in and uh, we'll get it resurfaced and then set i've still some berms to do down there so i don't think i'm finished just because we're near the top cheers
<laughs> it's cold off grid fans i don't know what temperature you got down to last night but it's quarter to 11 this morning and outside it's still minus two but uh, as you can see wood burners going i say a quarter to 11 and the sun hasn't even popped up on them trees i only get uh, a few hours of daylight that is south and the the sun just comes up above sort of 11 a bit after 11 till about one and then disappears but uh, look at this thick frost here i hung up the uh, temperature gauge what's it saying minus 2.1 holy shit Well then, Hully Gully fans, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that on Friday, which is the 16th of December, we will open Hully Gully. But the bad news is I haven't done any work for a week because it's been frozen solid and snowy. But it's all done. It's all, you know, with trail building, there's always more you can do. But I've done enough. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to set that Jenny going to charge the batteries while me and Freya go for a walk down the track, show you what I have and haven't done and what I'd have liked to have done. And uh, yeah, we will see. Anyway, generator time. So as you can hear, the generator's on, as is my dishwasher, as is the wood burner, so it'll be warm when I get back. Anyway. And this is what we've done. This is all sorted, it's all finished. You can't see, but this is <laughs> rebermed. <laughs> this next one's rebermed. I was hoping to ride this before I left, but uh, I'm not, not sure I will. So here, uh, this is mainly a water bar, so any water running down here, rather than running all the way down the trail, cuts off there. But also, it'll be a little jump, but if you don't jump, then you'll have this little bit of a rock garden to uh, to get away with. Uh, to get away with, you know what I mean. Uh, so here, this is something I didn't do, because early on I surfaced this so I could get the power carrier down, and I did chop that back there but I wanted to berm that a little uh, so that you could come round there and, and basically jump that rather than it being flat but uh, well I haven't oh. into here this bit's protected by the snow so these are all done and then we're coming up to a bit that I wanted to do, but didn't manage to do. That sign does make me smile. So here, this is another water bar. And uh, after I built it initially, I wanted to change it. And I wanted some more rock. I was going to build this wall up a little bit and, uh, and have that because this, what, again, what we're trying to do here, this is the water bar, the water that runs, it comes out of that hillside there and down here, and it used to run all the way down the track, but I've now directed it off here. So this little bit just helps you kick up onto this berm. Let me get to a better, I need a better angle to see it. So this just helps you get up onto that berm. And if you do get up onto that berm, which is why I did want a better, a better berm into this berm, uh, but uh, it's, well, it's just been too too frozen to to dig that in. But getting up onto that berm will then give you the line into this berm. We did extend so that you would come down here to get the line into this berm here. I did want to try and 
smash this in a little bit more and get a bit more stuff compacted. Oh. So even, oh, even there, look, you can see bits of erosion from uh, just where it's been frozen there. Uh, so we'll see. Oh, down here, all happy with this. All happy with here. And then another little bit that I wanted to tweak was I just wanted to dig in some edging stones down here so that if you did come fast enough through there up onto this banking that there'd just be a little edge just for you to push against if you found yourself way over here um, and uh, yeah I've not done that but all this that hole was done all this is looking good. Are you ready? I'm going to fall on my arse. Oi! <laughs> I didn't fall on my arse. <laughs> Impressive. So we'd done that bit of a puddle there. And that was all good. And then down here. And I'm happy with this bit. So here is the only bit where we didn't use the gravel from the very top because there was some old gravel. If I can get up, barrel. There was this old gravel here that was close by, so I used this gravel, but it just didn't have enough fines in it. So there's not quite as many fines on the top of that as I would like, but can't do anything about it now. I wonder if I can be clever and rather than going all the way down there, I can cut across here. Oh, what a shortcut. Ooh, slippy, he nearly caught me on my arse. So here, this is what I did last year, I was all happy with this. And that's still working well. Frick is enjoying herself. All of this is good. All of this is good. Oh, with the snow on these branches, they're hanging a bit lower. Possibly, I could have brought Silky down. Oh the branches hanging lower because they've got no snow also protected the ground from the snow so we're well, coming up to the other bit that I wanted to do that wasn't even on the initial plan but then we've been doing well and I was here longer than been I've, <laughs> I've now been here a month I wasn't supposed to be here a month but it was going well so I started doing this and uh, I think under here there may even be some frozen soil before it froze but I wanted to resurface these berms and I've not and I can't because it's now frozen and the gravel pile's frozen and when it thaws I'm getting out of here because as I say I've been here a month <laughs> and that's that's enough so sorry I know that this is would have been nice to do but it was a bonus and they're, they're still reasonably useful oh my oh my I've pheasants walking down here right I am going to fall on my arse admittedly you're still watching this because you want to see me fall on my arse don't you Oh, <laughs> well, um, oh. unfortunately I got down without falling on my arse. Anyway, that was, uh, I put a bit more shape into that 
and redid this drain to drain water off because it was ru running off over there so that's all done happy with that happy with all of this so here we have another bit where a lot of water when it rains runs out of the bank runs down the trail and uh, luckily runs off about here but what it had done is it also made a big puddle here it sort of ran past and then come back so that as you can see got fresh gravel there not whackered so here from here on down i did some gravel in but didn't get down this far with the whacker because again it went really icy and cold and snowed and you can't you can't dig and whack a gravel that one's still got the whacker plate treads in it uh, not the whacker plate oh see and another should have brought me silky because all of these were higher but now because of snow on it these branches here have uh, got some sag on where even walking I'm hitting my head anyway I did a little bit of uh, taking away this bank so it wasn't growing out quite as much. I haven't got down without falling on my arse. How good's that? How good's that? So, two more little bits that I've done. So one, this tends to be a bit of a puddle. This is a little drain dug there. And here where there was a bigger puddle, uh, I've lifted that up with uh, uh, half a ton of material. Uh, so it wasn't a little hollow, it's now a nice little ramp up. So that shouldn't be a puddle anymore. And then one more thing. And oh, look at that. Still got pheasants on the ground, pheasant tracks, oh, so lovely, look at that, look at that, trail repairs. So, the very last bit, and it's not really Hully Gully, but if you ride Hully Gully, unless you turn up the old red and then ride Oh, what happened there? Anyway, I say, most people ride down long way down and then ride up the old red that goes up there and then back down Hully Gully. So you'd actually ride this bit twice. But uh, here, this was the, my most pointless repair because I went way over the top on this little puddle and put a <laughs> rocking, dra draining, got it all sorted and then bear in mind that just after it or if you come in from long way down to then ride up to the top of Hully Gully then there's a stream so you can't, you can't avoid the stream so that's it, that's what I've done on Hully Gully hope you enjoy it, happy Christmas from me and all of the volunteers, because bear in mind I had volunteers almost every day, up to up to five I think was the most. So thank you very much to all the people that come and helped. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the Holy Gully.